Welcome back to Pastor Mark's Hopeful Inside. Hope you had a great Memorial Day weekend. Lots of time with friends and family, maybe social distancing with friends and family, but had some time to interact with others. I know that's the difficult part about uh, this uh, stay in place order is uh, all of us don't have the opportunity to interact with our friends like we would like or our family. But this will change one day, not yet, but one day. Uh, the word for today is from the Gospel of Matthew. Matthew, um, one of the Gospels, meaning good news of stories of Jesus Christ. Chapter 13, verse 31. You might have heard this one. The parable of the mustard seed. He put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of seeds, but when it is grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make their nests in the branches. Seems that we like everything, um, as McDonald's would say, supersized when, I guess we can still go through the drive-in, but... Um, we supersize our fries, we supersize our burgers. We like everything big. Buildings big, uh, money big, big corporations, big churches, big everything. People have a similarity, like, a similar liking, and they're attracted to that. Um, but let us take a look at this mustard seed. And it starts out as just the smallest seed insignificant, if you would. Nobody would really notice it because of its size, would go unnoticed. But I think these mustard seeds are all these good things that we can be doing as we feel ourselves in this stay-at-home order and the social isolation, that we can do good things, be it small, a cup of coffee. You can make a cup of coffee for your spouse, Add a little extra cream or whatever. Do something nice. Say a nice word over the fence to a neighbor. Say hello. All these little things are mustard seeds because together, together, all of these good things come together. And they make a big thing. And they make a big difference in our lives. Who knows uh, how you affect the other person with just a kind word, how that lifting of their spirits can mean to their day. So let's think of the little things that we can do today and not lose sight that even though we are in this difficult time right now, we're moving forward. We're touching lives in new ways. And we just need to think creatively how we can do that, how we can be a good neighbor in this time, how we can be a good citizen of Minneapolis, of the United States, of the world, how we can be good to one another. Hope you have a great day. Hope to see you tomorrow. Take good care. And uh, even though we're not together physically, we are spiritually.